Here is the path to the dark side. We begin with a step forward for construction of a mosque and Islamic cultural center blocks a, just, just blocks away from the World Trade Center site. On this issue, I want to ask all of you at home a question. Who are we as a nation? I'm agnostic now, but I was born a Muslim, and my whole family is Muslim. They're not evil. They didn't knock those towers down. In fact, they live in New Jersey, and they were scared to death that someone they knew was in the towers. Did you know that dozens of Muslims died on 9-11 in the towers, along with their Christian and Jewish brothers? Should their families not pray near Ground Zero? How much more did they have to sacrifice for this country to be counted as Americans? Look, I'm against fundamentalist Islam. I, I left the religion. I'm also against fundamentalist Christianity and all the religions in their fundamentalist forms. But this isn't about that, or even the people building this particular center. This is about what America says about all Muslims living here. Are they welcome or are they not? My mom's a Muslim, and she's the sweetest person you'll ever meet. She'll give you everything on her plate to make sure you're not hungry, and if you're sick, She's the first one who will be there for you. She's a mom, I hope, just like you're a mom. The one and a half billion Muslims in this world aren't in Al-Qaeda. They love their children too. And some of them, like me, love the Pittsburgh Steelers, air-conditioned movie theaters, and subs from New Jersey. America, this is choosing time. Do you want to take the path of darkness and hatred, or what we've always been, the shining city on a hill, that's why my family came here, because we believe in America. Please don't let us down. Don't tell us the dream wasn't true. I believe today, and I want to believe tomorrow. In a church in Florida, the Dove World Outreach Center, doesn't it sound lovely and very peaceful, Dove? outreach well a guy by the name of Terry Jones he's got a brilliant idea he wants to make the ninth anniversary of 9-11 um, into world uh, wide Quran burning day so at his church they're gonna burn a Quran uh, in fact one of his church members already has an instructional video up on how you should burn the Quran and why you should burn the Quran <laughs> Muslims are welcome, just not their dirty, evil religion. What's there not to understand? Uh, and I love how he says, we're telling them to stop the brutality. That's why we're going to burn their book down. Okay. It's kind of like when the Muslims would riot, saying, how dare you call us a violent religion? Well, that's not the best way to show you're not, right? And same goes for this Terry Jones character. Now, let's find out more about Terry Jones. First of all, he really likes merchandising. Uh, he has his parishioners uh, do shirts, and they, he actually had their kids going to, to school with them. Remember this? This happened, uh, we'd covered the story earlier. Kids went into school with shirts that said, Islam is of the devil. And then they are selling these shirts on their website, on eBay, etc. And then they had a, had a campaign against the local mayor in Florida as well. They were saying <laughs> this cute sign they had come up with there is no homo mayor. At least you see where they're coming from. They're pretty clear on that. So now here's the part you might not know though. Turns out Terry Jones and his wife Sylvia, they got a good little thing going. They get all these people who follow them, they indoctrinate them, and then they put them to work. Okay? As any good cult would do. So they uh, quote, stress obedience to senior pastors, gee I wonder why, and work for the kingdom of God. Now what they're doing is, other than the merchandising, they're selling vintage furniture on eBay. Okay, so what they do is they have all these guys, you know, help them with this vintage furniture uh, business, and they say, shush, you gotta listen to senior pastors. Be obedient. Do some kingdom of God work, okay? And then they sell it on eBay and they pocket it. 
Of course! And those people, they tell them, oh, sell your possessions, give them to me. They do, and then the workers do the selling, the packing, the shipping of the furniture, and they're all totally unpaid. But now the county that they live in figured out, hey, you know what? I'm not sure these guys are paying their taxes quite right. And the property appraiser office comes and knocks on their door. All of a sudden, the headquarters of the church were suddenly and inexplicably, as this article points out, put on the market. Who are one stay, stay, stay? Who are one run, run, run? Shocking, it turns out that that guy would turn out to be a scam artist who, of you know, all people, would scam his own followers. I didn't see that coming. Yeah? So, before Fox News decided to gin up the controversy, Laura Grimm I I Ingram, on the O'Reilly fact, really liked what Daisy Cotton was doing. She really appreciated it. She wished she'd come on the radio show more often. She called her moderate. She said, I applaud what you're doing and that it's, quote, fantastic. America, this is choosing time. You want to take the path of darkness and hatred or what we've always been, the shining city on a hill. That's why my family came here, because we believe in America. Please don't let us down. Don't tell us the dream wasn't true. I believe today, and I want to believe tomorrow. Later, radical, crazy, terrible, an offense to everybody, it stabs Americans in the heart. Gee, I wonder how that happened. That happened because they created a controversy out of thin air, because they want to rile people up and drive them towards fear and hatred. And they use it for political purposes, and they don't give a damn what the reality is, and they don't even give a damn what they said earlier on their own station. They don't even give a damn what they said earlier on their own station. Don't trust these people, man. Watch out for people bearing God, okay? Because there's, there's some chance that they're not actually talking to them. They don't even give a damn what they said earlier on their own station. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. 